Hello everyone, before the video starts, I'm doing a December giveaway for Christmas. It's going to go all the way from December 1st to Christmas Day. I'll announce the winner probably a couple days afterwards. Uh, I'm doing another Xbox Live giveaway. This is just for the Christmas time, no other goal. I mean, we did hit a thousand subs, but uh, if you guys want to enter this giveaway from any time from December 1st to December 25th, Christmas Day, all you have to do is subscribe and comment. I'll pick a winner a couple days after Christmas and I'll give you the Xbox gift card for like, just a Christmas gift for all the support I get on the channel. Uh, enjoy the video and have a good day. So I'm currently here and I wanted to make this video because I'm sick of the poopy loot that we get from playing this game. I have so many hours in this game. Now, so I was actually going to make a video I had planned to do a how many tier three contracts does it take to get a ray gun schematic? Like, because I've already played this game for a good amount of hours, like a lot. And I hadn't gotten it, so I was just going to start, and I was going to make a video, and I was going to record how many times does it take. And then literally, like, I got it in three tries, and uh, I, I wasn't even going to make a video about it, honestly, because I was, I was pretty shook. And I was like, whatever. But, instead, I'm going to make this video today where I'm going to do as many tier 2 contracts as I can, and I'm just going to show how bad the loot is. Even if I go to tier 3, it won't matter, because... Two or three contracts aren't good either. Like, I'll go to two or three eventually just to show how shit the loot is. That, like, you will spend an hour of your time. And sometimes the shit you get in tier one or two, which is why we're going to do some tier two, you'll see the loot I get in tier two. I think I just got a rock crystal. I did one contract, but I wasn't, uh, I had, my mic wasn't fucking plugged in. Let's not talk about it, but I think I got a rock crystal from that. So, nothing insane. But it was a tier one contract. Like tier one contracts are really for to get those early perk schematics and just perks in general. But here, I leveled up my gun just to kind of slaughter through. I'm actually doing this RPK, and I might make a video about it. It's really fucking good. Uh, but so far, I haven't used a bad LMG. When I did the poll on the channel for asking guys what you guys think about tier three contract loot, uh, I, I I think I gave five separate options, with the last one being that it needs to be reworked. Uh, and 20, over a quarter of you guys said it needs to be reworked. And about 50% of you guys said that it's just mid. And that's a problem. If the best, if the best loot, I guess, area, you would say, like a higher loot pool area for high tier shit, is mid loot, there's a problem. Like, we, we, get, we do have a problem. Oh my god, I gotta reload. I don't have speed pool either. Oh, he grabbed me to stop the reload. You know what? It's whatever. Okay, we're just gonna wait. This guy's not gonna do anything against me. Go see. <coughs> oh, I finished that part. Oh, I'm work. Yeah. So I am doing the axe, guys. I do have a video I might make. I have recorded. I just have to edit it of me completing Act One, which wasn't anything really crazy at all. I can't even lie. But as you guys saw, that loot was a uh, dog shit. So I guess onto the next one, which is a bounty. Which oh, no, this is a cargo. What do you guys think about the new update? I'm hearing a lot of negativity about how the game is crashing. I don't want to jinx it. I have not experienced any... Uh, oh, I died. Oh, wow. I have not experienced any game crashes. I actually did have a lot of problems when I actually finished the update and tried to load the game. The game would keep would just crash and crash over and over, which, is a, which was weird, right? My frames would drop. I would have all types of weird issues. But eventually it worked and like I haven't had issues since but I do know a lot of people are having crashing issues which is definitely not good especially in this game where you spend usually at least one hour in a game sometimes an hour and a half just grinding to get your gear and then you lose it and then you have to spend the entire next game getting a new vest a new backpack and uh, it's frustrating I bet like I, I, I understand the frustration with that and uh, this contract is bugged well I say that and the game bugs so uh, we're gonna have to cancel the old contract, which is annoying. I guess we'll just go here instead. You know, I did encounter a glitch. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Right out, it was after the update. It was the day of the update, where we actually went to Expo, and it didn't call the helicopter. Like it glitched out. And somebody actually put that in my comments once, saying that they had a glitch where they couldn't Expo. Like the gas, like the gas was there. Like, uh, or not the gas, the smoke. Like, 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 I'm allowing you that you could call the chopper. And it just wouldn't do it. And other people came, like, it was end circle, like, storm was on its way. And people were like, uh, and like, in the chat, they were like, why can't we expo? So we actually had to go to a different location on the map using the teleporter to make it in time because it was getting pretty close. It would be good. Uh, 
in getting this in tier two is rough. Like tier two rough, not a fun time. But anyway, yeah. And people died. Like we got a chopper, and it was the last chopper, like the last expo. And there were people that did not make it in time. They were halfway across the map, still stuck. The only reason we made it is because we teleported, and we told people to come with us. But I, I just don't understand. I don't think they understood us. I think I really don't think they did. And uh, they died, and it really wasn't even their fault. They were at Expo. They did everything they, they were supposed to, but every all their work over the past hour was just gone. Which is, that's, that's, that is rough. I'm going to sit here and grab this cargo. If you guys didn't know this, the cargo is always spawned at the nearest gas station from when you grab the contract. We'll just, oh. oh. I was going to try and execute it, but... All right, we'll get in the whip. Cargos are a nice contract to do. If you do cargos, you'll get the fastest rewards and bounties if you're doing them along with, like you bring in like a raw crystal or a refined and then like a purple wrench or something just so that you'll slaughter the tier one and tier two bounties. Because if you're going in and just doing bounties with guns that aren't the correct level or, pa or uh, pack a punch, then you're gonna, it's gonna take too long. Like, you're, then you're losing time efficiency. But this is already, I think, our fourth or fifth contract, and we're only at 35 minutes. So, we're not looking bad. Because when you do these bounties with these high tier weapons, they slaughter right through, especially if it's a mangler or a mid. A mid so, we're gonna finish this and see what we get. Um, I might do a separate video just doing tier 3 loot, because this is tier 2, like, I haven't gotten anything really of interest at all. I haven't gotten a schematic. I've been playing for over half an hour just doing, just literally me and my friend here have just been running around doing bounties, doing cargoes, nothing that's time consuming. Like we're not doing Outlast or something that takes three minutes, ground, whatever, ground defense, I forgot the fucking name of it, ground station. Like, this is all we're do we've been doing and like, unless we get something really cool here. Um, and like, this is what I mean, like this is terrible. It was terrible. I got, I did get a dead wire, I believe, a dead wire schematic, but, um, oh, drop the mic. Uh, but that's not really that interesting to me, just because ammo mods don't do that much. I was looking for more like, you know, like a wrench, maybe. That'd be cool. But the pearl wrench I have here, I actually got from a, uh, zombie stronghold. So I don't I really don't know what to do with that. Like some of these the zombie strongholds give pretty good loot. Cod 2024, which will be dropping obviously with not that far from now, within the next year because they're not gonna release it this late. They'll probably be in October, like they usually release uh Call of Duty's Black Ops games. So I put out a thing today and I was waiting to see what you guys were saying and what you guys were picking. And I threw out there, like, what's the thing that you think it needs the most? And I put, like, ground base, multiple modes. And I think this mode, if you put this mode in Gulf War, it'd be successful. Make this a free zombies mode. And then you can pay for the round base experience in the actual whole game. Like, how they do with Warzone. You know what I mean? Like, with Warzone, uh, you have it for free. And this can be the free mode. And then round base story. Like, you know, you do the high rounds and all that. That can be part of the actual 60 or $70 game, whatever they're going to charge. But... Um, I asked like what does it need and I, I put like characters not operators which is huge for me just because I can't deal with the ghost saying the same three lines the entire actually the entire time I play him he, play, he says probably the same three lines if he says anything at all also put gobble gums I put good maps I put round base too which is actually pretty important but Kevin Drew himself said it would be very disappointing if they, he didn't get the chance to do round base in 2024. So uh, it's looking up for zombie fans. It's looking up. You see me use a certain gun. Uh, just drop it below. I do have a video I plan to make on the, me using the war machine because that is fun as fuck to use. All right. Well, I think overall this video has proven my point. Uh, the loot needs to be buffed. Uh, just tier two. I'll do a whole separate video on tier three if you guys want to. But this is just tier two. Like, as you can see, I just got a perk. This is basically everything I got the whole game. Um, and like, I'm getting perks from just random shit anyway, so what's the fucking point? But, you know what, tell me what you guys think below, I'll do tier 3 next, I'll do a whole video where we're going to tier 3, and I'll like, we'll just do tier 3 contracts all the time, and you'll see the loot difference. 
Other than that, I'm about to exfil, so uh, I'll see you guys around in the next video. Sorry for the you know delay in a, in an upload. Food service industry is pretty rough right now. Uh, I'll, I'll check you guys out in a couple days. Peace out, guys.